Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Don't What's wrong, George? Your boy Chair Mackins in the back, Packins in the fat, Gaddings in a couple racks and all that. First of all, come on, niggas. Like, I'm probably me. I appreciate y'all, niggas. I really do. I swear to God. Even the niggas that keep coming back every single day, not like, comment, or subscribing, I appreciate y'all too because you cannot stop the Plattington. That's going to send the bags in because I don't know how to act to the shit. Mackington. Just trying to get a Plackington. You feel? How? Ah! Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. Oh, we at Mr. 1G. If you don't know who Mr. 1G is, it's actually absolutely positively 100%. Because I don't know this nigga is either. He's already locked the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, I don't even, we didn't get to meet you, sir. We, didn't, we don't know what crime you did. You just already there. Welcome. How you doing? What you up there for? We got to figure all this stuff out. Somebody in the comments probably know. However, when you call back, nigga, let us know, nigga. I got to start leaving video messages. We tired of the pictures, nigga. We want to hear what y'all got to say. How if you're up in the Browns in this day and time and you that young, you probably most likely absolutely positively an active drill a step, a stop, a move, a pusher, or a 70 fixer, torture her, camper her, Send her. Yeah, I don't know what section of the city you are from. However, Mr. 1G, that name, G, 1G, you stand for one grand. I don't know what 1G stand for now. However, I hope they gave you a grand worth of years. And that's a thousand, nigga. Yeah, a grand used to be worth a thousand. So if you did some crazy, maniacal, diabolical, treacherous shit, I hope they gave you enough time to think about it. Yeah, go ahead and think about this shit, nigga. You my homie now. However, um, I do have to figure out this who this man is. He just called. He like, what's up? Did y'all forget about me? Yes. We forgot about you. Kids, come here. We going to forget about you. As soon as you go lock yourself up away in them prisons, 35, 45 minutes, niggas has forgot about you. So, thank you for calling, Mr. 1G, and... Nigga, leave a video message next time. You feel me? That's wrong. In other news, uh, we at a teenage big dog. <laughs> Listen, I don't think the kids know how crazy it is to lose your life or to throw your life away. As a teenager, you ain't did nothing. Your life is so trash that young for you to even be throwing your life away by killing somebody or even losing your life via dissing or whatever be going on nowadays. I don't know what happened. I'm just saying. For my dyslexia says one team did another injury at the shooting near Olney High School. Four suspects saw. Mm -mm -mm. Drill, step, stomp, move, push, 70. Fixers! Torturers! Camperers! Senders! Y'all better hope y'all better pray that one of them niggas in that car ain't gonna tell like I'm a it, they probably are, though, so I'm going to send it over to my steps to come Take away, please. Into you. Surveillance video obtained by Fox 29 captured the chaos in the 5100 block of North 3rd Street just before 2.30 this morning. It shows a person running down North 3rd Street and get into a car. Then two other people running behind them. They run onto the sidewalks. You can see a few flashes on the left. Then they get into a car and continue to drive down the street. Philadelphia police say moments after shots were fired here, they got a call for gunshots just down the road on the 200 block of East Duncannon Street. 
Then a vehicle driving near Whitaker Avenue and Hunting Park Avenue flagged down officers for help with two gunshot victims inside, both 16-year-old boys. Police say the boys were rushed to the hospital and one of the teens died from their injuries hours later. Approximately 21 shots were fired between both shooting scenes, police say. The second scene about a block from Alney High School where they held freshman orientation this morning. I feel like scared because like it happens a lot so you never know what's going to happen when you're like walking. Sir and that's the kid we got trying to protect right there. That little girl. Little boys and little girls in that nature. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to go to school, get my life together. I ain't really trying to be in no goddamn wild, wild west shootout. We're trying to protect them. So absolutely, positive. we got to find y'all. I hope, I pray, I wish, please, God, let one of them niggas tell like a motherfucker. Matter of fact, we can just get surveillance. Please, we got to get a better 4K high resolution Ultra HD camera. Yeah, we got to put this can this car out so we can go ahead and figure it out. Walk it down to the owner. The owner going to say, oh, no, my son had it at this time. Then we're going to go to the son. The son probably going to tell on everybody. And that's usually how it go. So I hope that's how it go because we got to protect them kids. So when it go like that, we're going to grip y'all niggas up. Sit y'all in front of Uncle Lord Lord. Uncle Lord, come here. Please, shut the fuck. Get out of these stupid ass. You boot the ass. If you just sit there, can't move forward. Rock your obby on chest of mine on Frank Green. Someone said Pine Grove. What are them recreational scissors getting the calls? Let us know. Who told on y'all niggas? Because somebody told it. How uh, Today's episode is sponsored by Project Positive. If you don't know who Project Positive is, it's actually absolutely positively 100% a youth organization for hip hop dance, break dance, all types of dance. Some of these people dance with the Sixers. Some of them is trying to dance in the Olympics because hip hop and break dancing is now an Olympic sport. Yeah, so if your kid around the crib dancing and blicking and shaking and hipping and you want them to be successful at some point, hopefully. Because some people don't want their kids to be successful. They actually are training them up to go to prison. So if you want your kids to be out the way, doing something positive, hopefully making it to the Olympics one day, hopefully dancing for the Sixers dance team or whatever they can get from it, please sign them up for Punch. In other news, uh, we had more prisons, mister. <laughs> Listen, kids, if you do not get your act together, they are absolutely positively 100% building more and more and more prisons for y'all and destroying more and more and more schools because they know the black kids don't need schools. They going to prison. You feel me? Our other part by dyslexia says controversial youth detention center opens in Monco on the grounds of a men's prison. Now, I don't see the problem. Y'all saying it's controversial because of what? They going to prison anyway. Yeah, them niggas is going to, to prison anyway. They in a youth detention center. I'm not the smallest thing in the world. I ain't never been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, none of them institutions. However, when I be locked up, most of them niggas be like, yeah, I done did a juvie bid and everything. I'm like, damn, I started fucking up when I was grown. Yeah, I wasn't like, yo, I wasn't fucking up my whole life. Or I was just getting away with it. Yeah, I was getting away with it. Maybe I'll stop like, caring if my mom could do something about it. However, over here it says, for my dyslexia, the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services has opened a controversial new youth detention facility on the grounds of a men's prison in Montgomery County. The Southeast Youth Development Center is located at SCI Phoenix in college. <laughs> As it should be, nigga. Now you at pre-Phoenix, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to you, an announcement from DHS says it will increase the state's capacity to treat delinquent youth. Order to state facilities. The lack of staff in state facilities led to severe overcrowding at Philadelphia's juvenile justice center. 
until a judge ordered the state to begin taking youth more quickly after sentencing. When youth were transferred to the state facilities, they were hours away from the city in remote, often rural counties. The new center is less than an hour from Philadelphia. The DHS announcement said the new facility is an investment in high-quality care and support for youthful offenders. Ha! They invest in with high-quality care in a prison. You believe that shit? You, you believe it's luxurious in this Hilton E in it, motherfucker? Anything you, but advocates are not sure it's the right investment. The Juvenile's Law Center's senior attorney, Malik Pickett, says it is more money being spent to expand the system when alternatives are what's needed. Too many, what, what alternatives is needed? These niggas don't want nothing. These niggas don't work hard for nothing. These niggas don't want to try nothing. They want PUA. PUA was their favorite time because niggas was just giving them niggas money. They don't want to work for nothing. Anything you, too many youth are being funneled into the system. It's harmful, he said. This is the shit that I'm trying to get the kids to understand. We got to start putting responsibility and accountability on these kids. Being funneled? Nigga, they, they did the crime, nigga. They're not being funneled. They're actually, absolutely, positively, 100% choosing this shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they got guns to their heads. Like, like, yeah, we going on a drill. I don't know. I'm just saying, ain't nobody funneling these niggas there. They want to do dumb shit. Send them to pre-Phoenix, then go to Phoenix. You feel me? However, uh, you DHS has declined to answer questions about the facility. Its announcement said the center began operating July 23rd, serving up to 40 youth with trauma-informed care as well as education and training opportunities. What education and training opportunities? What are they going to do with that education and training? They're getting life. They're getting 30s and 40s. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? In 2050, nigga. Huh? Go ahead, though. I hope they get some education and training opportunities. Go ahead and cut some grass for 17 cents an hour or whatever a day. Whatever the good minimum wage is up in prison. So I don't have no problem. I don't see no problem if they already in a detention center. Why should it not be on the prison ground? You on your way there next, nigga. Here yeah, you is right across the street. Literally. So when you get there, nigga, goss. And let us know, how's the new prison? <laughs> you know the news? Oh, we at Mr. Wabi C. Do. If you do not know who Mr. YBC Duel is, he is actually an active driller, stop and stop and move, push her on 70, fix her, torture her, camper her, send her from the YBC section of the city, chase her, who only chasing one bag, and that's the commissary bag, and they all getting parts of it. I hope y'all make a good ass chi chi when y'all get up there. I'll ever part my dyslexia says, damn, mayor, nigga just didn't know. So I don't, this is old, it says two weeks ago, however, I'm just running across it. So, take it away, dude. Into you. Nigga, you swear you know everything. I'm about to shut you the fuck up, bro. Stop talking to me, bro. Nigga, mayor got a, a fucking warrant for homicide because the day before Curry court date, mayor had court date for his burner. And you want to know what mirror dumbass did? He pled guilty to a homicide weapon, kid. That's why he got a homicide warrant, because he pled guilty to a gun that was on the homicide. What the fuck, nigga? Yeah, I don't know if that gets you a homicide warrant. It may. I don't know. So then why would you call him a rat? Is that why he got a homicide charge, nigga? Because he pled guilty to a homicide weapon? And if so, why did you say he ratted it then? Because we don't have no evidence yet, and we waiting, nigga. We waiting. So, hopefully, this is why he got charged. I think he got charged because he did it. Yeah, that's why I think he got charged, dude. I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I ain't up in the Harvard, Yale, Princeton. None of them law institutions. I'm just saying. I believe when they put them handcuffs on me, every time they had the right nigga. I was like, damn, what am I going to say this time? How am I going to lie about this? 
And I made him some good lies a couple of times. Yeah, then I started pleading guilty. Like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm pleading guilty. I'm pleading guilty out. However, you said he got charged with a homie because he had a homie weapon. I say he got charged with a homie because he did a homie. You feel me? And for that, kids, please let me show me show you properly. A stupid dumb retarded motherfucker. Drill us, don't move, push you. Probably not gonna make it a light, probably not no dreams, no goals, no aspirations. Niggas probably gonna be saying you ran, even if you did or you didn't. Cause this is the type of show this is not just makes you act the worst in the world. It's about 29 news, or if you're doing news report. You bots. Why are you doing 29 news? my beat the fuck. Why the fuck is wrong with you? Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.